So, uh, welcome to E13's Engineering Lab. Hi there. Uh, Hi. This is Scotty. Nice to meet you. Hi, Scott. Nice to meet you. Pleasure's mine. Nice to meet you. Okay, so you guys have been to our offices in Taiwan. We also have another office up in Petaluma, in the Bay Area. But down here in San Luis Obispo, there's, this is where we do all of our uh, wheel testing, mm -hmm. all of our design work. Uh, George Dubois, Director of Engineering, he works upstairs. Uh, Scott and I are down here doing graphics, doing marketing stuff. Um, we're also going to do a little bit of wheel testing over here in the shop uh, in a little bit, so we'll show you how that goes. Uh, really excited to show you the new SL wheels. It's the uh, the new trail bike wheel, so a little bit lighter, still really strong, uh, mm -hmm. as you'll see on the test machine. Uh, so come on back in the shop and we'll show you how it goes. Cool. All right guys, so I'm really excited to show you our new wheel sets. Uh, what you're holding there is our 2018 TRS-R wheels, that's our Enduro wheel, and then these are the TRS-SLs. So these are gonna be our trail bike wheel. They're a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually based the rim profile for this, which is 28 millimeter internal width, we based this off of the previous year of that Enduro wheel, mm -hmm. which was 28, that's 31 millimeters now. Uh, the hub is completely new. So this is actually a completely aluminum hub as opposed to a carbon bonded shell like before. The weight is the same and actually we still have big flanges so you get that classic E13 uh, triangulation on the spokes to keep it stiff but it's a lot easier for us to produce in mass quantities uh, these hubs and they're going to be a lot more reliable as well. So when it's all said and done, what we've got in the product line now is a 31 millimeter internal width Enduro wheel with incredible strength. And then we've got a 28 millimeter internal width trail bike wheel that's actually about 40 grams lighter and twice as strong as that wheel's predecessor. Yeah, it sounds like those wheels are very light and strong at the same time. And you do testing in-house. You want to show us how you do the testing? Yeah, absolutely. I'll show you how we test these things. Come on with me. Okay, cool. Okay, so welcome to the test lab. Uh, these are the wheel testing machines. Uh, over here, you've got the impact tester. Pretty self-spoken, I think. And then here, this is a pneumatic machine. It's going to test lateral strength. It pushes a piston into the side of the, uh, of the rim and, and measures pressure. Uh, well, this is the impact tester, and we're going to be striking this from about a meter up with uh, nine kilograms of weight repeatedly until it fails. So the hammer's gonna come down and smash into the rim like that, and we're gonna probably get about 50 impacts on this LG1 carbon wheel. Aluminum wheels across the board, competitors included, usually last about three or four. Okay, so this is an aluminum rim, and our criteria for an aluminum rim failing is uh, pressure being lost in the tire. So because of the nature of the material, uh, it's never gonna crack and explode catastrophically like a carbon rim. Uh, so we're gonna hit this thing with seven kilos instead of nine with the tire on, and the second we start seeing uh, pressure being lost in the tire, we know the rim has failed. All right, guys, so I'm glad I got to show the shop and uh, smash some wheels with you. Yeah, thanks for having us and showing us around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys ready to go riding? Yeah, uh, let's go test the uh, TRS SL wheels. That oh, sounds, sounds great. great. 